Hundreds of thousands to a million new jobs have been predicted for the province. Most of them will require some kind of post-secondary training, and each party has its own plan to address the need. The local NDP team analyzes riding maps, organizing their strategy. Their role as northern candidates has them putting emphasis on skills training. We are a resource-based economy here, and we have mines, we have forestry, and these operations really need skilled workers. And uh, Sherry and I have been going on uh, talking to businesses uh, and other organizations, and that's the number one problem that we see. The NDP is promising 40 million annually for skills training throughout BC and an additional 100 million each year for student grants. Sherry Ogasawera says how much of that will be in northern BC has not been determined, but both candidates say it will be a significant amount. It's great news for, for northern BC, particularly because of the skills shortage, and uh, this is going to really, it's a practical solution to really address uh, the shortage itself. The B.C. Liberals agree the skills shortage is a significant issue. Well, we've had a very aggressive plan to increase capacity right across the province. And today, taxpayers spend about $500 million uh, every year on skills training. In September of 2012, we actually announced an additional $75 million. As for investment in the north, B.C. Liberal candidate Shirley Bond says the College of New Caledonia has been a key part. We've seen unprecedented investment here at the College of New Caledonia and at other community colleges because we know we have to be ready. A million new jobs on the way in the next decade. Local companies like Environmental Dynamics know skills training is a complex issue. We do a lot of uh, internal training, ultimately. Uh, we're always trying to figure out what's the next thing that's happening and we're trying to, to uh, get ourselves prepared for it. President Bob Redden says government has some role in developing the workforce, but not all. The setting of the table with government and preparing things to some level, but it's really going to be the companies with uh, a, a unique understanding, ultimately, of their situation and then they can address their unique needs that they have. The B.C. Conservative platform doesn't provide great detail on skills training, but says 5.5 percent of GDP would be allocated for education, with emphasis on northern and rural post-secondary skills training and apprenticeships. Aileen Machel, CKPG News.